12,000 on the right side at 12, 13,000. 13,000, the left side has it again at $13,000. Is there any advance over 13,000? Fair warning, selling 13,000. Sold pedals. In the age of cut and paste, there's still something special about the first or only copy of something. Back in June, Christie's, the giant auction house, sold the Richard Green Library, a collection painstakingly put together over the course of a third of a century. Green, a physician and amateur astronomer, started in the 1970s with a copy of Galileo's Dialogue, the work that put the legendary heretic on a collision course with the Catholic Church. Green slowly added Copernicus, Kepler, Newton, Descartes, William Gilbert, Babbage, Darwin, Freud, Einstein, Adam Smith, and one odd little duckling, a copy of the oldest phone book in the world. Why don't you tell us what you're holding here? Well, this is the first telephone book. Uh, New Haven, Connecticut got the first telephone exchange, and this is the, l the full listing of 391 subscribers to that original exchange. While there were some earlier one-page listings of names of people who had telephones, this is the first book, as we know a telephone book today. It lists both private individuals and businesses in, in this beginning section of, of alphabetical listing. And then at the end, you get what we would think of today as the Yellow Pages, a business directory. Each page uh, of subscribers is facing an advertisement. You see that consistently throughout. And you get, you know, great typographic ads, but then you also get you know, a great graphic image of, of this new technology. Pick up the receiver, say hello, say that is all when you're done talking, and the other person should say okay. There are no phone numbers here. That's right. You would pick up the, the, the phone and, and you'd be connected to an operator and you would ask to be connected to, to the name, uh, to a, an, either an, obviously an individual or a business. Hold it on end so we can see how, how thick this book is. <laughs> I'd say it's about a uh, little more than an eighth of an inch. <laughs> and Not the doorstop that we know today. Interest on this, I have 16,000, 17,000, 18,000, 19,000. 20,000, 22,000, 24,000. This is the only copy that we know of that's ever come and been sold at auction. We've not been able to trace any other copies. So while there may be copies that are in institutions or in libraries or maybe squirreled away in an attic that haven't been discovered, this is the one that we know that's been on the market. The big ticket item at the auction was Copernicus's 1543 on the revolutions of the celestial spheres, which sold for $2.2 million dollars. But a post-auction statement by Christie's singled out another sale as particularly noteworthy. 75,000, 80,000, 85,000, 90,000. At 140,000, are we all done at $140,000? Fair warning, selling right up front. 140,000. Estimated at 30 to $40,000, the 1878 New Haven Telephone Directory went for $170,500. For IEEE Spectrum, this is Stephen Cherry.